Yo, what's going on guys, this is Brennigan, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about setting a background color, a width, and a height of an element. Okay, so as you can see here, we have a div with a class of test. So let's go ahead and select that element by using our period uh, test to select our class. Then what we can do is we can do background color, and we'll set that to red. And then we'll set a width to 200 pixels, and a height to... Uh, 200 pixels and let's see what that outputs and it's a red square so instead of using red we can use our RGB scale here red green blue uh, we can do 0 255 0 and go ahead and uh, save and refresh that and we have a green square so instead of RBG we can use the HSLA which is hue saturation lightness and alpha let's do 170 um, 50%, 50%, and 1 for our alpha, save that, and then we kind of have like a greenish blue square. And finally we can use the hex notation, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and that should be a black square. So instead of using pixels for height and width, we can use percentages, so let's do 75% and show you that now the box is 75% of its parent's container, which is basically uh, from here to here. Now if we do auto, we'll basically let the browser decide, and in this case it lists the entire uh, width of its container. We can also make it just wrap the content that's inside, so hello world, save that. Let's put the background color to a red color, and we'll change auto to webkit, fit content and we'll talk about webkit in another uh, tutorial but let's go ahead and with uh, refresh that hello world is just just big enough the background is just wide enough to fit the hello world in webkit is basically uh, specific to Chrome uh, for the Chrome browser and like I said we'll talk about that in future tutorials everything that we discussed on width can also be put on height so basically they're pretty much very similar fit content percentage based and pixel based so that's pretty much it for this tutorial if you liked it go ahead and hit subscribe if you have any questions comments or concerns go ahead and post them below and i'll catch you guys next time